Hi guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to cut cast iron sewer pipe. You can use either a grinder or a reciprocating saw. I prefer a reciprocating saw. There are also snap cutters, but they're really only suitable for new cast iron like this, and not used rusty pipe like that. So, you'll need to use a reciprocating saw, of course. You need blades. I like these diamond blades. They also make carbide ones like these. It's really up to your own preference. I would suggest buying both and just seeing what you like better. You will also need a reciprocating saw. You need a <clears throat> high quality professional grade saw and a full size reciprocating saw. Don't try to use one of those mini compact ones. It won't do the job. And don't try to use a DIY grade saw like the Ryobi ones. They're not meant for cutting heavy metal like this pipe. So now let's Get started. This is a brand new blade. I have decided to try Lennox brand instead of my usual Milwaukee. And I'm using my M18 fuel sawzaw, which is a really good reciprocating saw, especially if you get it on sale, which I did. So now you just line up the pipe and line up the blade of the pipe and start cutting. So that took about a minute to cut 3 inch service weight cast iron pipe and the cut is pretty smooth which means you can attach a fern co or no hub fitting to transition to another pipe material. Now let's try out using an angle grinder. Just like with the reciprocating saw you'll need a heavy duty professional grade model. A DIY angle grinder will not be up to the task. I like using diamond metal cutting blades. Here are two different brands. Not to be confused with diamond masonry blades, of course, but I just feel that these blades are safer because there's no risk of flying debris if it breaks. And it fits any standard angle grinder. I'm using my Makita paddle switch grinder. Which... Now the problem with using an angle grinder is it'll throw a lot of sparks and you have to have full access to the pipe. But let's get started cutting. Obviously that took a lot longer and it throws a lot more sparks and debris and also the cut is not as clean but you should be able to get a no hub coupling or a fern co fitting right on there with no problems. So after trying both these methods I still recommend the reciprocating saw with a diamond blade for cast iron. With this blade once one side gets too dull you can flip it around and use the other. Just kind of a cool feature. So. Yeah, I'll have a link to the tools and supplies I recommend in the description. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did, and see you all next time.